The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind and the wire the tattletale sound and the wave broke over the railing and every man knew as the captain did too twas the witch of November come stealing the dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing when afternoon came it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind When supper time came the old cook came on deck saying fellas it's too rough to feed you at 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya The captain wired in, he had water coming in And the good ship and crew was in peril And later that night when his lights went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald Does anyone know where the love of God goes When the waves turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay If they'd put 15 more miles behind her They might have split up or they might have capsized They may have broke deep and took water